So hi there this is Ayusha and today we will learn how to make the selection of ball screw and I have divided the ball screw selection into two parts or we can say in two stages. In stage 1 this video we will learn how to calculate the lead of the ball screw and how to determine the diameter of the ball screw and most importantly how to determine the accuracy grade of the ball screw as per the given condition and in stage 2 just after this video we will only verify the selected ball screw with some important checks like critical speed buckling load and expected life check if our selected ball screw would not pass this check then we may have to make some adjustment, make some changes in the selected ball screw parameters. And this is only way to make the correct selection of a ball screw. There is no one single formula. There is the steps and these all steps are correlated to each other. Of course, there are online tools from the manufacturing brands and we can use it for free. But I want you to go through the selection process. Once you will be go through, you will be come to know many important terms and parameters related to the ball screw and their importance. That will definitely enhance your designing career. And I would say software ko use karna ya online tool ko use karna koi galat baat nahi hai. Agar aapke paas time kam hota hai, to aapko definitely use karna chahiye. But ye zaruri hai ki hume pata ho ki online tools kis steps ko follow kar raha hai. Uske piche kya calculation chal raha hai. Kyunki interviews mein hum ye nahi bol sakte ki selection ke liye hum online tools ya phir excel sheet ko use karte hain. Aur kaam ban jata hai. So here is the our given condition that we have discussed in the first part of this master class series. But if you are here to just to learn the how to make the selection of ball screw, just take this requirement as an example. Because your requirement might be different, of course. But only value changes, formula, concept and steps are never changes. And before starting the selection procedure, just give me few minutes to define some important terms related to the ball screw selection. Like what is the accuracy grade, what is the difference between rolled ball screw and precise ball screw or we can say ground ball screw. And what is the difference between lead and the pitch of the ball screw that we have already discussed in the first part but here we have to go into the depth. Because when we start the selection procedure and at the any particular point I would like to define that point and then again back to the selection procedure and then again define the next point. It will might feel you disconnected from the selection procedure. I hope you get my point. By the way, if you are already aware with the ball screw common terms, you can skip this chapter and you can start from the selection chapter. There is a chapter on the playhead slider. So the first term I want to define is the accuracy grade. So as we know, the screw rotates and not travels. And the amount of error in travel, we can define it in terms of accuracy grade. And the grades are divided into C0 to C10. As we will go lower side, we will get more precise accuracy in the ball screw. And as we will go upside, we will get less position accuracy. From C0 to C5 grade is the precision ground ball screw grade. And above C5, rolled ball screw grade starts. So what is the difference between rolled ball screw and precision grounded ball screw? The main difference is come from manufacturing procedure. Rolled ball screw and nut thread are created by pushing the stock bar through the rotating tools and die in a single operation. And this is the cold deformation process. And this process is easily automated to achieve the mass production rate. And this is why road ball screw are cheaper in cost, but their accuracy is low. And on the other side, ground ball screw are fabricated through abrasion process. And this process cannot be automated and mass production is not possible. And their accuracy is high and as well as the backless is minimum, but the ground ball screw are costly. So what is the backless? We can say backless is an axial and angle play. Clearance between nut thread and the screw. But don't get confused between accuracy grade and the backless. These are the different thing. Backless is the fixed clearance. A fixed amount of deviation in travel throughout the length. Moreover, we can eliminate the backless by the preloading of the ball screw. Means we can apply a fixed load on the nut. So the ball nut would not move in the axial direction if you want to achieve the zero backless. But the accuracy grade is the ball screw lead error. And at each lead or we can say each revolution of the nut, the error will be add up. The error will be stacking up. 
For example, let's say we have select a ball screw of lead 5 mm. Means at each revolution, the nut should travel 5 mm linearly. But there will be some error in the micron. It cannot be exactly 5 mm. And when the nut will start taking more revolution, this small amount of error will start adding up at the every revolution. So the ball screw manufacturer generally define this amount of error per 300 mm of the travel. And now let's understand that what is the difference between lead and the pitch of the ball screw. So in case of ball screw, lead is the distance traveled by the nut per revolution. And the pitch by definition is the distance between the same point on a thread to the same point on the thread next to it. So if the screw is single started, the pitch value and lead value will be exactly same. But in case of double started screw, the lead will be double of the pitch. Same in the three started screw, the lead will be triple of the pitch. But I have never seen the three started screw in my life. So the formula of lead will be become pitch multiply the number of starts in a screw. Very simple. And these are the terms we should definitely know if we are going to make the selection of ball screw. And now we can start the ball screw selection procedure. And the first thing we should start with the selecting correct accuracy grade for the ball screw as per the requirement. And our accuracy requirement is plus minus 0.5 mm per 1000 mm. Means the error of 0.5 mm within 1000 mm travel of the ball screw is accepted. So now let's define the accuracy grade within the 300 mm. Why? Because ball screw manufacturers define the accuracy grade within the 300 mm of travel that we have already discussed. So the amount of error in 300 mm will be become 0.15 mm or we can say 150 microns. And now we have to check the ball screw accuracy grade table from the manufacturer catalog. And here I am referring THK catalog. THK is a ball screw manufacturer. You can check with any manufacturer catalog. It's all up to you. In this table, on X axis, grades are defined. And on Y axis, range of a screw length is defined. And we can check the respective travel error according to a specific grade of a specific length of ball screw and our required stroke length is 1 meter and acceptable travel error is 150 micron per 300 mm as per the calculation and here 1 meter length of ball screw in C8 grade lead angle accuracy is plus minus 100 micron per 300 mm which is closer to our acceptable travel error but I would like to go with C7 grade because C8 grade is not popular grade. It may not be easily available. Moreover, C7 grade is also a rolled ball screw so there would not be much cost difference. And now our selected ball screw grade is C7 and the type is rolled ball screw. And there is a thing. After selection of the grade, we should definitely check the runout, max runout, parallelism, perpendicularity of the nut with the screw for the selected grade. Because only angle and axial accuracy do not matter. Maybe these parameters like perpendicularity, parallelism or runouts are matter most for your application. Or you can select the grade according to these parameters also. And if your requirement parameters are not satisfying the selected grade, you can get a more precise grade. And even though you can go for the precision ball screw. And this is why the right selection of accuracy grade is very important. But what if, if the required accuracy was not defined in the requirement section? Or maybe customer or user ko bhi koi idea na ho accuracy grade ka for a particular application. Then we can refer to recommended accuracy grade table according to the applications. You don't have to write anything. I will leave this table in the description. And you can also find these tables in the manufacturer catalogs. And now we are on the second step. The selection of lead of the ball screw. And for the lead screw selection first we have to calculate and define two things approximate length of the screw and the speed of the motor but don't be confused later we will know why so let's back to the concept 
and here the required stroke length is 1000 mm and the sliding plate width is 200 mm plus we should consider some extra screw length for the end bearing blocks so let's consider 100 mm and now the total length of the screw will be become 1000 plus 200 plus 100 is equal to 1300 mm and now we have to define the speed of the motor and speed of the motor can be different for the different different type of motors that you have to figure out that which kind of motor you are going to use for your application for example in this case we will use the servo motor so the generally servo motor rated speed or we can say duty speed would be around 3000 rpm maximum speed can be 6000 rpm but we should always consider rated speed so let's consider the motor speed at 3000 rpm and now we can use the formula to calculate the lead of the ball screw and the ball screw lead in mm is equal to v max the linear speed in mm per second multiply by 60 and divided by n max and max is the motor rotational speed in rpm and now just put the values so lead equal to v max so just convert the 0.5 mm per second into mm per second so 400 into 60 divided by the n max which is 3000 so lead will be become 8 mm so just for a side note here why we multiply the factor 60 because here the n max the rotational speed of the motor is given in rpm revolution per minute so we have to convert the minute into second that is why we multiply with the 60 because linear speed v max is given in mm per second and the second node is in many cases the linear speed would not given cycle time would be given then we can calculate the linear speed v max by the formula of velocity that we already know velocity is equal to distance divided by the time and here the distance is the stroke length not total screw length and divided by the cycle time not full cycle time half cycle time the time taken in going up or down so now we have the calculated lead of the ball screw is 8 mm so we can select the lead of the ball screw 8 mm or higher than the 8 mm and now we have to check the lead ability in the manufacturer catalog this table is a standard combination of soft diameter and lead size of ruled ball screw in this table on x axis lead size are defined and on the y axis screw diameters are the defined and we can check the available standard ball screw diameter for calculated lead size and here for 8 mm lead only 18 mm diameter of ball screw is available because 8 mm lead is not a popular lead size and it will not easily available so it's better to go with a popular lead size higher than the 8 mm popular grade or we can say easily available lead sites are 5 mm 10 mm 20 mm so i would like to go with 10 mm of the lead but there is one more thing if you are planning to go with the gearbox then you can recalculate the rpm with the gearbox reduction ratio and then select the lead accordingly but always remember that that the high value of lead will give you high speed but the requirement of torque will be high and the low value of lead will give you low speed but the required motor torque will be less for the same application and that we will see in the more detail in motor selection video further in this series and now we are on the third step the selection of ball screw diameter and for the ball screw diameter we have to again check the catalog and I know this is a tedious process first doing the calculation and then checking the catalog closure match with the calculated value but this is what it is because we cannot manufacture the ball screw itself and also the manufacturer cannot manufacture the ball screw exactly as per the our requirement same like pneumatic slender some specific bore diameter and strokes are available so as a mechanical design engineer we have to be expert in the calculation as well as understand the different mechanical items catalog of the different different manufacturer and to understand the catalog first we have to familiar with the terms related to the mechanical components like the ball screw and this is why this video is as much longer agar main ye video sirf ye soch ke banaun ki mujhe bas selection ke bare mein baat karni hai to ye video 5 minute mein hi khatam ho jayegi 
बट वो आपका पाँच मिनट बिल्कुल वेस्ट चला जाएगा अगर आप एक फ्रेशर या स्टूडेंट हैं तो इसलिए ऐसे वीडियोस मेरे को काफ़ी सोच समझ के और टाइम ली करके बनाना होता है सो हेयर फॉर द स्क्रू डायमीटर सिलेक्शन वी हैव टू चेक द मल्टीपल स्टेबल लाइक दिस टेबल साफ्ट साइज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द लीड साइज एंड फॉर द लीड साइज टेन एम एम द मिनिमम अवेलेबल डायमीटर इज फिफ्टीन एम एम देन एंड सो ऑन We can also check the screw diameter with respect to maximum permissible length of the screw. Means we can check the available diameter range of maximum permissible length of ball screw in a specific accuracy grade. And here in C7 grade which we have selected the sharp diameter for 1500 mm which is closer to our required screw length. It's 16 mm to 18 mm. It means we cannot consider 15 mm of diameter, and we can start with lowest size, which is 18 mm screw diameter, and perform all the checks like buckling, critical speed, expected life check. If selected diameter pass all the checks, we can technically select that size. But if any checks selected screw diameter fails. then we have to go for one step higher than the size of a screw diameter and again repeat the check process until ball screw selected diameter size pass all the checks but as i am experience in this kind of linear actuator design i would like to start with the 32 mm of diameter and you might ask me that hey why 32 mm why not start with the 20 mm and then go for the 25 and then 32 so there is a thing as we get experienced from project to project our decision making start being matured and we are being to able to select the right size between the oversized and less robust size because the cost difference between 32 mm diameter and 25 diameter is very less i hope you get my point if not let's see in another way if you are designing a system for a customer or a any user If they not feel that machine is robust, you cannot convince him on the basis of data only. वो तो बोलेंगे कि मोटर इतना बड़ा लगा दिया एकदम हाथी का जैसा और स्क्रू इतना पतला सा लगा दिया यू कैन नॉट कन्विंस हिम एंड नाउ यू गेट माई पॉइंट सो जस्ट फॉर समरी ऑफ बॉल स्क्रू सेलेक्शन प्रोसीजर फर्स्ट वी डिफाइंड द लीड एरर पर 300 हंड्रेड एम एम ऑफ द ट्रेवल देन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ लीड एरर एंड रिक्वायर्ड बॉल स्क्रू लेंथ वी सेलेक्टेड द करेक्ट एक्यूरेसी ग्रेड फ्रॉम मैन्युफैक्चर कैटलॉग देन वी कैलकुलेट द लीड साइज बाय फॉर्मूला on the basis of required ball screw length and selected motor rated speed then we found the popular lead size closer to or higher to the calculated lead size in manufacturer catalog after that we selected the available ball screw diameter in manufacturer catalog with respect to accuracy grade lead size and ball screw length and also we saw that why we should also think on the basis of past experiences to optimize the selection and as per now we have select the grade C7 we select the ball screw type rolled ball screw we select the diameter of the ball screw 32 mm we have select the screw length 1300 mm and in the next part of the video we will verify these parameters with some checks like critical speed buckling load and the service life to agla part aapke screen pe aa raha hoga ya aapko description pe bhi mil jayega par zaruri nahi hai ki aap abhi dekhe aap baad mein dekh lena aap relax kar lo kyunki calculation se aise hi dimag bhar jata hai thank you very much for the watching